Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here today to react to uh, Ruby, uh, Volume 8, Chapter 5. Um, I'm going to get right out of the way here. Um, I'm a little bit mad right now going into this reaction. Because um, apparently there's just a bunch of channels on YouTube that are just uploading uh, footage of the new chapters. Just the day of, like hours, not even sometimes after they premiere. So uh, I was spoiled on something for this because of them, because uh, I wasn't able to do my reaction right away. I had some stuff that I had to do, and I just had a, a YouTube running in the background, and unfortunately, uh, one of the videos came up. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty mad about that. Uh, so uh, I just wanted to try and get this done as fast as possible, just before the whole thing is spoiled for me, even though I'm pretty sure like the most major part of this episode has been spoiled for me already um and no it's it's kind of annoying because when i put these reactions up i have to go through filing a uh dispute to get them unblocked and that can take days and days and here's these people uploading just raw footage no reaction just the whole thing of entire sections of the episodes and uh yeah it's just uh they're not getting blocked and they're not getting taken down and it's just real really annoying and frustrating uh especially as someone who's who's new to doing these reactions um so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and get right into this uh just because don't really have much to say on the uh, anything other than that uh, make sure before you watch this, you are going and watching it at uh, an official uh, source, either on Verve or on Rooster Teeth's uh, website itself. Uh, make sure you're supporting the creators of this. They do allow people to put up full-length reactions because uh, they're super cool about that. And uh, I'll go ahead. Uh, let's get this up and get this started. Let's lower the volume just a little. straight into Amity then. Why is Pietro Dad. out there? <laughs> this does not seem like a very good idea. Is that a bomb? There is a difference between a good idea and our best idea. Sadly, we don't have time for much else. That is. We have enough systems up and running to broadcast our message and keep Amity in atmospheric orbit. Our thrusters just aren't capable of reaching our target altitude on their own. <laughs> Fortunately, we're sitting on a couple hundred tons of thrust. <sighs> Once we've passed into broadcasting range, we'll activate stabilizers, reestablish global communications, and boost the message we've required. 
teleported out into the rest of the world. After that, <laughs> we just have to pot an amity away from all of this mess. But what if no one is able to come and help Atlas? If I stay behind, I could maybe... Pity. We are not having this conversation again. I'm your father. I'm telling you that you belong on Amity. It sucks. Yes, like they like Don't you think he does have a point. People telling her what to do. Prepare for launch, please. I like get I get he's worried about her because like yeah, it's it's his daughter. All systems are ready. Penny Amity is requesting launch access now. Oh, yes, <laughs> it worked! <laughs> Over. I didn't have time to install seatbelts, so uh, I'd advise you to hang on. <laughs> Oh, here we go. And where do you think you are going? Penny, no. I wonder if Penny. Uh oh. Well, here we go. <laughs> I wonder if Penny would be able to, uh... It's time. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, Ironwood. What are you doing now? I was hoping your friends would be here. It looks like they left you to do all the work. Huh. Pure shit soul to be used. You do not know what you are talking about. You're one to fucking talk, Cinder. But I wonder if Penny can somehow negate Emerald's semblance. Oh, here we go. Will Cinder lose her second maiden fight? That's a very simplistic design for a fucking ship. Let's have a big old touchpad. I'm actually kind of surprised it works on her considering her eyes are still somewhat mechanical. Well, this is please, please, please. that's this is kind of what I got spoiled on is is those two fighting. So it's hard to like completely enjoy that. Oh no, because there's a big old hole in the fucking side. Oh, the one advantage Cinder has this time is that Penny's not very experienced as a maiden. Oh no, she's fucking gonna go and attack Pietro to get Penny's attention. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, you're fighting an actual Huntress now, Neo. I have a bad feeling Pietro's about to die. Ah, oh, fuck, it does work on Penny. Aha! Take that, you bitch! before you take me down. Stabilizer was damaged. We've missed our window. Ah, fuck. We'll likely drift into touching down just north. I can fix this. What? Our message is only a few minutes long. I can try and hold Amity in place until. Absolutely not! You're in no condition to do something like this. Even just the temperature out there could... It is our only option. She is right, Pietro. We have to remember the big picture. I don't care about the big picture! I care about my daughter! Oh, jeez. I've lost you before. And you're asking me to go through that again? No. Like, I get it. No. I want the chance to watch you live your life. But Pietro is almost taking like an Ironwood sort of stance to this. But Dad, I am trying to. But now what's going to happen with whatever the fuck Ironwood's doing?
Something's about to go wrong. Again. I'm a huntress, and if we've done everything right, then I'm talking to all of Remnant right now. Dr. Paul and Dina can explain more later, but right now you all need to know that the Kingdom of Atlas is under attack. Things are dire, and we need help, but please try not to panic. This isn't some new enemy or invading kingdom. This is a force we've faced before <gasps> for centuries. Salem. Ew. The White Fang, Elysian drones, even the Grim themselves have all been controlled and manipulated by her in order to tear down the Huntsman Academies. That's good news for us. Penny's blades operate on the same principle as Amity and the launch terminal. In order for her to control them all, they need to communicate with one another. Oh, jeez. We didn't have time to prepare for Salem. But now you do. Just because she can't be destroyed oh, doesn't poor mean Nora. she can't be beaten. If she really was unstoppable, she wouldn't have acted with such caution until now. She knows we're a threat. Oh, fuck. So Fuck you, Ironwood. <gasps> Ty! Is Raven there too? No. No, come back. Penny, you've done enough, sweetheart. Get back inside. We can ride out on Amity together. Uh, I, I have to go. Oh my god. Penny, what is happening? Please, baby, say something. I love you. Penny! Oh, don't you dare fucking end. Global comms just went back down. And Penny isn't responding. What did you do? Exactly what you asked. It's possible Penny's systems are merely rebooting. As for the tower, well, perhaps Pietro isn't the genius you thought. No! <laughs> We're not waiting. You're going to find her. Winter. Sir? Until Penny either responds or is standing in front of that vault, we cannot assume her status. Take the ASOPs. I want constant updates. Get him back to his cell. With pleasure. That was the broadcast. Oh my god. Why did we lose signal? Ironwood, you're such a fucking idiot. What is this? Oh, that is definitely not good. It's grim. A river of grim. Oh, boy. Heading straight.
Oh boy. Um. Yeah. There's a lot to go over in that episode. Um. Shit. First. Fucking Cinder once again lost a fight against another maiden, proving she is just the north side of useless. Um, it's it was great to see that Penny could actually counteract Emerald's semblance, which was what I was kind of, what I was hoping would happen. Um, I, I didn't think that Emerald's semblance would also work on uh, Maria, considering her eyes are artificial. So I guess it's. I don't know. I don't know what it could be. But, um... Neo really got her fucking butt handed to her that episode as well. Uh, except for getting that one surprise hit on Maria, which she just gets blasted by Penny. Which is the most damage we've seen Neo ever take. Um... Yeah, that whole sending the message out to everyone was cool. We got to see so many characters! Again, we got to see fucking Glinda for the first time since Volume 3. Um, but of course we didn't get to hear her speak. I wonder if we're going to see more of her. Um, and who they're going to get to uh, voice her. Because I know the the voice actress that used to uh, play her is no longer with Rooster Teeth. Uh, so I wonder if they'll bring if they'll try and bring her in from the outside to, to do it. Or they'll just find a new voice. Um... God, that sucks. I, I'm really hoping that Ironwood is dead by the end of this volume. Because he is just... Not only has he fucking done whatever he's done to Penny, but now Watts also has his scroll. Because the dumbass fucking threw it at him and then left it. For whatever reason. And now Watts has his little tools along with the scroll. Um. So yeah. Everything bad happening right in this volume can all go on Ironwood's head. Because as far as I'm concerned, he's the he's the worst he's the worst person right now. Um, probably even more than Salem at this point, because he's just he's enabling Salem at this point. Um, but no, it's it's going to be interesting seeing what happens in the next couple of. Uh, the next couple of volume or not a couple of uh, next couple of chapters because i know on the seventh they're taking an almost two month break until they get until they put out the uh, eighth chapter um so uh yeah if you guys like this video please uh like comment subscribe um i'll see you guys in the next one